Welcome back. Today we're going to look at intercepts, specifically the way my Aztec 3100 does the transition from heading to nav mode. We're going to start with a simple ILS coming in from the left side here. As you see, I'm in heading mode. When I select nav, I expect it to stay in heading with a nav queued up for when the CDI needle comes alive. And as we go east towards the approach course, the localizer, when the CDI needle comes alive, as we see the Autopilot switches from heading mode to nav mode. It does a smooth intercept to the localizer inbound. Let's add one more thing to the same approach. Heading mode, switch on nav, and now go approach. We fast forward as we approach the localizer and wait for the CDI needle to come alive. There it is. It's coming in. It's alive. But we don't switch over. In fact, we get to two dots. We still haven't switched over. And what we learn is that because we're in approach mode, it will not switch from heading to localizer until we're at one dot. Let's watch it do that. It switches over and does the same very smooth intercept of the localizer course. Let's try this out on a different segment of the approach. I've activated a leg from an initial approach fix to a final approach fix on an LPV. And I'd like to do the same thing here. I'd like to fly my heading and push nav and have it automatically switch to nav when the CDI needle comes alive. So there we go. Heading mode, switch to nav mode. It switches directly to nav mode. It's not waiting for the CDI. You know, this CDI is nowhere near. So you could just hold heading until you get ghost, but let's try it again. Heading, flip to nav. It goes directly to nav. So the way that you would have to deal with this situation is fly heading until you get close to the in route course and then flip to nav. Now what it's doing is it's picking its own intercept angle. And it does a very nice job of intercepting. But if you're out 20 miles and you try to set this up so that it switches to nav when the CDI comes alive, it's going to take off and find a way to get to that nav line before you ever get close to it. And that can be very disconcerting to the pilot and probably to ATC as well. You know, again, it does a very nice job when it does get close and it intercepts and flies just fine. So let's do one more. We're on the same LPV approach. This time I'm inside the final approach fix and I'm on a heading. You notice I'm on a turn towards it. Now let's just try here. I'm on heading mode. See if we can go to nav. Lo and behold, it works great. Now we're in heading mode until we capture nav. The CDI is not yet alive. You notice we're not in approach mode. So as soon as the CDI becomes alive, we should capture. So here's the interesting thing. This is the same approach. We're just on a different segment of the approach, and it seems to work just fine. Jumping ahead here a little bit. As we continue turning in, we can uh, watch for that CDI needle to come alive. It comes alive, moves in a little bit, and the autopilot very nicely switches over to nav mode, does a nice intercept, and uh, flies just wonderfully. So this is the interesting thing. Localizer, ILS, LPV, if it's on the final approach course, it'll stage heading going to nav. When you're on an in route segment, it doesn't seem to do that, and I don't know why. And uh, I, again, I don't know if it's the 550, if it's the Aspen, it's the 3100. I'm very curious. I talk to all of these guys quite regularly, and I hope to talk to them about it. So thank you for helping me document this system. Hope it was interesting. We'll catch you next time.